I am Anil Kumar and I hope with these videos you are getting the concept of polynomial functions. Let us explore them further and review what we just learned about. Right? So I told you that polynomials have continuous smooth graph without any break and there is no restriction on the domain, right? But always if those conditions are true, will that represent a polynomial? Related to that, we have a question here, right? The question is, we have smooth continuous graph of two functions below with no restrictions on their domain. Explain why they do not represent graph of polynomial functions, right? So these are not polynomial functions. They have no discontinuity. Domain is all real numbers. They are smooth curves, no breaks, no corners, no cusp. But then why they are not polynomials? Now that is a huge question and at times one of these graphs will be in multiple choice oh, which will not be a polynomial and you may have to write a reason for it. I guess you know the answer. Here is the solution, right? Now this function is kind of a sine wave and it is not a polynomial since its range has both upper and lower bound, right? So it is restricted, the range is restricted from both. It, ha it is in between two values, do you understand? So there is upper bound and a lower bound. For a polynomial, there is no restriction on range if the degree is odd, but if it is even, then we could have either upper bound or a lower bound but not both and that is the reason why this smooth curve is not a representation of a polynomial. Now how about this? Here the range is infinite looks very much like an odd degree function but what is the problem in this case? Well the problem is right there. If I try to draw a tangent here it will be a vertical line. Do you understand? So when we say a polynomial then Tangent is not a vertical line anywhere. So rate of change, I can, because you're just in rate of change in unit 2, so we'll use the term rate of change. So rate of change is always a value, right? It's always a meaningful number. It is not undefined. Do you see that? When we say that the polynomial is a smooth and continuous curve, we actually also say that it does not have corners or cusps. Why? Because at corners and cusp, you don't know which tangent we are talking about or in this case, we have a vertical tangent. Do you see that? These are also continuous. They are not smooth, of course. They have a vertex, right? So, a corner or a cusp. But the main reason here is that tangent or rate of change is not defined on a point, right? That is the main reason, correct? Here, rate of change is not defined at origin, right? So this curve is basically of a cube root function and it is not a polynomial. Degree is 1 over 3, not a whole number, right? But well, when you are given graph of a function, you have to find reasons from the graph. And the reason is that it has a vertical tangent at origin, so rate of change is not defined. So we have not defined. So we say slope is not defined at origin, right? Now for a polynomial, slope is defined at each and every point. It could be 0, 1, 2, anything plus or minus, but not infinite. It is a real number, right? So that is why this function is not a polynomial. It's a huge question for communication and that makes sometimes huge difference between 90 plus or not. Thank you and all the best.